Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Whether you're celebrating with the girls for the ultimate Galentine's Day soiree or treating your Valentine to an intimate dinner for two, these decorations are sure to make everyone's heart swoon. And here to show us how to do it all on a dime is celebrity event planner Brittany Sharp. Yay! Yay. Yes, thank you for being here. Thank you. Yeah, I love doing things on a dime. Yes. But yes. Valentine's Day can be very stressful. Yes. But it doesn't have to be because it after doesn't. all, it's all about love. Exactly. So how can we create a dining experience without having to do the whole hustle and bustle of the restaurants and waiting in line and making a reservation? Exactly. So I like to create that same kind of experience at, in, in your home. Right. So why not set up your own tablescape mm -hmm. with your nice decorations, make it fancy. And it doesn't have to be with your with your bill. It can be with your girlfriends. Mm -hmm. so you can have a Galentine's dinner. Um, and then also, if you don't have a beautiful centerpiece like this and you don't want to get into going and getting that made with the florist, use your food as a centerpiece. So oh, right you, can, you can see that we've used this, set up this charcuterie board and we mm -hmm. did it with sweets with instead sweets. of mm -hmm. cheeses and fruit. So get creative in your centerpieces. And I think that people really appreciate the time that you put in it more mm -hmm. than anything. Well, tell us about these tablescapes here. Yes, so these all of this settings. stuff can be found at Dollar Tree. Yeah. So these, <laughs> even better, right? <laughs> these are uh, felt placemats and in the shape of a heart. Ooh. And then I just follow that pattern with the china that you see, so the heart plates. And then I'm really big on making things interactive. So things that your guests can use once they sit down at mm -hmm. the seat. So inside of here, we've got little scrabbles that they can spell out different things be my Valentine. Oh, that's super cute. Things of that nature. So it's conversation pieces. So as soon as somebody sits down, they're not like, I'm ready to eat immediately. Well, speaking of ready to eat, let's start this demo. What will we be making today? What yes. items will we need? Yes. So instead of worrying about the cake and the cookies, we're going to make yogurt parfaits. These also, um, they're candle holders that I found at Dollar Tree, but you can use them to display your parfaits. Mm -hmm. So we're just taking scoops of yogurt. Is that plain yogurt or is it vanilla yogurt? I did plain, but you can get creative. It's kind of what, you're, what you think your guests may very like. pink berry of you. <laughs> and then top it with fresh fruit. And then granola. Well, I'm just going to shake it because that's, that's a lot yes, of hands yeah. and granola like that, you know. There we go. Okay. And fresh fruit. Yes. Maybe some pretzels on the top pretzels, of it. Pretzels, nuts, craisins. You know, you can kind of get creative with that. And then you've got a cute display. So even if you wanted to have these pre-made and mm -hmm. have them at the play setting, that's something else that guests can have once they sit down. And it's a nice texture thing, exactly. too. You exactly, know. exactly. And it's a take-home treat. So <laughs> if you look at ways, again, to keep things inexpensive, you don't want to have to worry about buying gifts. Look at how they can take their play settings home so it's a two-for-one deal. Great. Well, what does it mean to have an interactive tablescape? So I'm big on, I don't like people just to have to sit down and eat dinner. Mm -hmm. I feel like you want things that your guests can actually dive into once they get there. So again, having activities at the play settings, but then also having different things that they can make. So whether it's food, crafts, anything that will go ahead and kind of start dinner without food coming out immediately. Okay, now we, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to agree to disagree on this one right here. You said we don't have to have gifts. No, we don't. That's not for you, Vaughn. <laughs> I fully expect my gift. Thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. so for me, a lot of the gifts is more so about the thought that's put into something. Mm -hmm. So to me, this is the gift, being able to plan a nice, intimate dinner in your home. <laughs> but it, it's, it, it shows thought and it shows appreciative, you know, that you, how you are of your mate. Okay, well what if you're just not into Valentine's Day? If you're not into Valentine's Day, that is completely fine. I feel that you can still have your own intimate dinner in your home by yourself. You love know, on yourself. Love on yourself. Love on yourself. Watch your favorite love movie. Um, have a, you know, go out by yourself. I, it, Valentine's Day to me is about self-love more than mm -hmm. anything. Well, so. really quickly, if we could get into these centerpieces. Yes, yes. So um, I love bright pinks and florals when it comes to Valentine's. You think you want something that's bright, that people are immediately drawn into, and then these gold fan pieces. I also like to always pull in abstract things that again can make your centerpiece stand out. And also with our desserts, looking at ways, everything doesn't have to be so heart valentine -y. You can look at pulling in your colors and other elements to bring in that love theme to your tablescape. Well, I think this is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna try some of this at home, yes. not Yvonne. <laughs> but Brittany, thank you for joining us and supplying more beautiful decorations like these. Be sure to follow her on Instagram at The Sharp Standard or her website at www.thesharpstandard.com. We'll be back. And remember, Valentine's Day is with an N, not an M. <laughs> <laughs>